let's continue with the dom section this will be the part 1 inside this we are going to see the sixth topic that is dom versus javascript in our previous session we have understood bom versus window versus dom versus javascript if you have not watched that video i suggest you to watch that video so that you will be having understanding on bom windows dom and javascript so that it will be easy for you to understand dom versus javascript so in our past few sessions we have understood using this dom we can change lot of things we can create html elements we can change the css stylings we can change the attribute values remove elements add new elements and also creating events so we can do tons of things using this dom so now what actually dom is and what is the difference between dom and javascript so we have already seen this entire code and also we have seen this example i will just inspect this now inside this element you can see my entire html code and also the comment is included i will come to console now as soon as i write document enter now entire html content whatever i have written inside this including this comments entire thing whatever i am having inside this file everything will be included inside this document so what happens we have this javascript and this document will be having our entire html code and to manipulate that like changing elements adding stylings or adding buttons whatever it is to make our website dynamic javascript will be getting access to this dom using this access javascript can manipulate all the content which is present inside html so any time if you have created website you would be aware of without html we cannot create the website we need html at least to define the structure of website so without html we cannot create any website so each and every website will be having html document and that document html document will be represented by a model okay this is the model and we call this model as a dom inside this we are having our entire html document so whatever changes i want to do javascript will be getting access to that so that whatever changes i want to do javascript can easily manipulate that one javascript will be getting access to all the html elements using which we can change entire content of our website so in this example also we have seen when i just click on this button the background color will be changed this is what it happened using dom we can change our entire content when we click on the buttons when we want to change this image or when i want to add the paragraphs change the css stylings we can do lot of stuff using this dom but dom can only be manipulated using programming language like javascript and also using python we can manipulate the dom and also you should not get confused with this dom and this javascript dom is not programming language javascript is a programming language but without dom our javascript or any programming languages will become useless because we cannot change the content dynamically so our website will be static nowadays entire thing and each and everything will be dynamic only then website user interfaces will be user friendly without dynamic data the static data nobody is going to like so without dom our programming languages will not have any value they would become useless because javascript will not be having access to the dom model due to which it will not be able to access or edit the html contents so now you should be having an understanding javascript is a programming language and dom is a model for which programming languages are used to edit the html document present inside the dom so this is very simple to understand so this dom will be having our entire page content that is our entire html document 
and using this javascript or python we can get access to all the contents all the elements inside this dom so both are independent of each other dom can be used with separate languages as well in our previous session we have seen javascript is independent of dom due to which javascript can be written outside the browser that is inside the servers so but most of the time we use javascript to access this html documents so that we can edit the content present in our web page i hope you are clear with this i am just going to summarize whatever we have done so inside this form we will be having our entire html document html document is nothing but the content the static data which we have written inside our website so that html document will be treated as a model and that model is given a name as dom so to edit this content to edit the html elements programming languages like javascript or python they will be getting access to this dom so that they can edit or change the html elements present inside this dom if dom is not there using javascript we can only create static website so dom is used to create our websites dynamic dom is independent of this one dom can be used with other programming languages as well and javascript is independent of dom dom in our last session we have seen without that also we can access javascript outside the browser that is inside the servers due to which javascript is used both as front end and back end programming language so now i assume that you are having little bit understanding on javascript and dom if you are still not getting it it's fine dom will take some time to understand if you keep on practicing this you will understand dom in more better way